got the deed? Yep. Here it is. Ah, your body is all All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. here in a hurry. Come on! <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dovey. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. 
You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Shite, somebody doesn't like us. Come the up, Irish. We're sitting stuck here. Bloody Nara! Get the closest trumpets! Guess I got up to more mischief than I remember on me last week. Alright, I'll get this cross and tinderbox once we lose these sons of bitches. Reload from that box in the back of the danger. You must be taking up another aiming! Sakes alive! Now get up! Don't you hear me, dog punted bastard! Bastard! Shite hook! They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. Go to hell, you idiot! What the hell did you do to these fellas? I recorded it was something to do with money, and... ...the details is I recall it was something to do with and possibly some 
Your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, them big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that pulque? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Murder, sons of bitches! Fight that rock! Fight yeah. you! Now, you you up now! You almost got Shooting down on it! 
de glaive. Elle trompe la clé. Remember any of it, Irish? There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on, we'll be on dry land soon. God damn it, there's another two! horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy <laughs> before you degrade these poor fools any further tell me where I'm headed of course of course let me think you do know people down here aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way yes I think so <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here John you know how it is I, I, I met an American guy uh, saw him shoot a man Drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny. But he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three-card stud with him. Or was it four-card Monty? I forget. I, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one.
can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come well, on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Stay with it. You can do this. Make sure you hit every bottle. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Sir, you've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? I spent my life proving people wrong, partner. Senor Ricketts, Senor Ricketts, por favor, Senor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. Come on, these people need me. Work! What the hell? So why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. 
We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. That's too damn slow! Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Dios mío, vienen más. Estamos ready. Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't, my sour little apprentice. Let's go! Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Sounds like fun. Vamos, gringo! I wish everyone to see me be a hero! Apologies, mister. Oh, yeah. Marston, it's good to see you're still breathing.
aquí, mi amor. Ven aquí. Tengo más para vos contar. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Señor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him. Was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, Gustavo Cohn, uh, Ryan the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir. And I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. It makes no odds to me. you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? For some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. There should be some horses for us across the way. Come on, first.
first stop at El Matadero. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Louisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for a Linde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll beat those bastards their balls. Kinda sleepy, don't it? Easy now. All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos, see, si. we're here for Luisa. She's still being held up in the caves. Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep the talking, senor. The rest I will eat to do. Hope you're ready for this. Follow me, we'll shoot our way in there. Oh no, you don't. Hey, where you are, Cover me, damn it! Follow me. This doesn't look good. I'll kill you all! Get up here, Marston! What the hell? Don't give him any room. My lord. She must be in here. I'm gonna see if I can blow the door open. You keep guard. There'll be more on the way.
Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. Cutting it fine. Whoa, whoa. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah.
up there. There is room, gringo. Bendiga, señor.
What do you want, Gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. Close to the wagon. We must hurry. Oh, you did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe. 
you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better, to pull your arm around a hungry man, or to be him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these alumnos you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williamson's a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of a past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you to sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel pigs. Mexico is an easy place for men to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... It's a long story. We're being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. It's rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right! Don't you throw silly ideas at me! What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid, and like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. I thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals put on their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes? He's a traitor, a liar, a coward and a sinner, a hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family, a man born in a golden cradle who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcony giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's prepared to destroy everything my compatriots have fought and died for, just to hear people shout his name. It's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. It will think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting. Vámonos! Vamos! Come on! Stay 
Good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased.
¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! ¡Levántese, perezoso, que yo que le estoy pagando! Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá para muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo.
Amigo, do you want to make some money? Ven conmigo. They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money. All right. You best be ready to pay up. Wagon you wanted. Muy bien. You do well, amigo. Toma, here is your money. Come see me again. Maybe I have more work for you. Mastón. ¿Qué tal usted, señor Mastón? Dando riquezas es el salvador de su pueblo. 
I need to clear my name. This should do it. Mira este maldito gringo. We're wise people. I'm so sorry, sir. Madre mía! Pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, eh. No me toques. Me gusta la No tengo nada. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Cars on. Champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, the Namakshon! I wonder if you're also as lucky as Mr. Ricketts here. Mr. Marston, I hope you realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German minds in all of Mexico. I fault. Muller, we might have to send you off prospecting for more silver soon. Sweet mother of pearl. Call. I call you. <laughs> now ain't that something. Too much for me. I sense you're not as drunk as you appear, Mr. Ricketts. A drinking man's luck never lasts, Mr. Ricketts. Nothing like a game of poker to warm the soul. Terrible. Now I'll fold. Call. I checked that. Fucking cheat! 
Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking carts, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted the guy Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. What are you waiting for, coward? Remember what I told you. You should have stayed home, Yankee. Cards too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the man they call Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston? Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Better not miss, partner. No merezco esto! No puede ser! Oh, Dios mío! What the Ayúdame hell? We really aren't making any friends today. Find some cover. There's the son of a bitch. This is what happens when you order for a German. I've had it. You and me, Marston. Well, I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Forgive me, friend.
Let's go. Escalera, go. please! Close your eyes. I wait you when we arrive. You mind if I take a nap? But a gringo cobarde. You gonna do something? Baboso? Sabes cuánta sangre he gastado, I'll pendejo? I'll shut that mouth of yours for good. Sabes cuánta gente he matado, imbécil?
Let's go. It is you. I cannot believe it. Qué honor. I have been looking everywhere for you. You saved my mother's life. I want to repay you. I saved some dinero and bought you some supplies. Thank you again for everything, senor. That's very kind of you, sir. ¿A dónde va, señor? Perdido, please! You look like you need some sleep. I'm gonna take a nap. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Uh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a mi tanda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, adios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adios. Te amo. My brother has given us his stagecoach. They are good horses. What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! No les dejen escapar!
I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then? Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely. Maricón, me das asco. Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. Honor, ¿qué eres, un muchacho jovencito sin vergüenza? ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? Esta es también el hábitos de fi reyes. The man I spoke to you of? <laughs> uh, friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, uh, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, uh, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? Then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. But it's on two years. 
Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> Is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sara, sara. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now. Perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, ta, 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 ta. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. <sighs> Baboso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. I sent some men ahead. We will meet them there. No. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men grinning and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in any case, you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance and is impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. My men left some time ago. We're ready late. Come on, let's see if you can write. Ha <laughs> ha I thought you were a cowboy. <laughs> can you go any faster? Come on. Very okay. good. Come on. Dead. The rebels will all die. If they're alive, they have failed me, and the rebels will all die. So, I guess we ain't taking any prisoners then. Traitors must be made to suffer. Shown that we will not tolerate the rebellion any longer. They're animals, we will slaughter them accordingly. Would be aimed. Very good. Slow down. Yeah. De Santa, por qué tardaste tanto? ¿Y quién es este gringo? Nos da un favor. Cada hombre ayuda. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come on, let's have some fun. Te atreves a carearme?
I heard the little horse crying in that house over there. Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. Por aquí, imbécil! Sorry about this. Relax. Come back to the villa and sample some of the new girls before they spoil. Como cantan las balas. Escucha, loco. Hey, ya. No. You sure you're a bad friend? Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> hey, Gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair-like. I got shot in a robbery. 
They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <clears throat> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! No, I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Both of you. Let's head for Escalera. No rush. I'm sure they'll hold the executions till we get there. Whoa! Work! Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. If you're jumping from one side of the fence to the other, you might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I'd politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd... Look! It's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. This is our chance! See if you can take control of that first wagon.
Now we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well-connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. What's wrong, Louisa? I don't weep for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, yet he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where's he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already. But his family do not approve. How could they? Well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me, the woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you're truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. El Presidio is to the north. We must hurry. Who knows what they will do to him? Do my best. There is a partially broken down wall. You should be able to scramble over it. Hurry, but please be careful. <laughs> 
There are guards everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Well, if he's alive, I'll try to make sure he stays that way. I have some friends waiting for me near the river. Bring Abraham there. Good luck. Good luck. Que Dios te proteja. You can do this. You have God on your side. Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Okay? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes. Such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. Get one of those horses. I will ride with you, compadre. Hurry to Louisa. Come, come, follow me. I will take you to Louisa. Come on. Atrás, you go. Luisa asked for my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa, if you want her. I'm here for two men, and 
that's it. You have been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again. I will write a poem about this day. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Agenda Space when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. All you've done is get on the back of this horse, my friend, and you barely manage that. We say, Zapaget. Buena suerte, compadres. There she is. I remember her now. Mi amiga. Abraham, Mr. Marston. Oi! The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo. And let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And you return. You will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! Where tu you Bella? Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tú sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. Let's go!
Mr. Merson, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the men you seek. Come. I have men waiting for us. Just as the escalera. Vamos! What's the hurry, DeSanta? Where are the we going? The have taken control of an abandoned fort on the other side of Nuevo Paraíso. Many men. A place called Torquemada. We can allow them to establish a stronghold. The Coronel has given me urgent orders. Which are? To kill them all. I should have guessed. Ride with me. We have a long journey ahead of us. Los rebeldes tienen una fortaleza ahora. ¿A dónde vamos a parar? Abraham Reyes tiene un verdadero ejército. Get on the wagon. We do not have time for this. We're near to Torquemada. Keep your eye out. I have a bad feeling about this. Bravo! Hold them off! We're not far from the camp! Put your gun down, Fred! Behind us! Kill those cabrones! Let's see what mess that idiot Espinosa has made. See that deranged captain at Tesoro Azul? Is he leading this attack? He? Espinosa does not lead anything. I thought you was the same rank. He is an angry dog who let out to run sometimes. That is all. I'm in charge here. Follow me. We will leave the wagon here. Master, come on, ignore the stupid aim. Shut your mouth off his boy! Gringo! Take that sniper rifle over there.
something. Follow me! The men need help at the blockade! Have us trapped! Kill the snipers! Martin Lord! so hard. Vamos! Cargamos colina arriba! Maten a todos! Escuchador! Ojos abiertos! Aquí vienen más! Ahí. 
coche! ¡Ah, qué placer me da! ¡Explotando mis armas! ¡No tengo piedad con ellos! ¡Tienes madre! ¿Qué pasa? Uh, 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 killer like you, uh, deserves fine women and wine. The best pleasures Earth can give a man. <laughs> I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs> 